windmill project is really starting to take shape and today it will rise to new heights. Doug Higgins joins us now live from Little Shoot with more. Hi Doug. Hi there Pete. A big day coming here for the Little Shoot community. As a matter of fact I've got uh, Robin Decker here. She's the executive director of the Little Shoot windmill. And by golly, you've been planning on this windmill for so long. It looks like today's the day it's actually going up. Today's the day, yep. This is um, about a 15-year dream, so there's many exciting people, excited people today. Well, we got a lot of people actually just lined up to watch the center section of it go up. Why don't you explain to us kind of the separate uh, pieces that we have here? Sure. At um, about 7.30, the main windmill piece which you see in the background hopefully is going to be hoisted onto the base which is right next to it and at nine o'clock we have the cap going on top of the windmill and then they'll finish with the blades and the rest of the details later today. Wow, so you've gone from just having the small base to the whole thing almost completely assembled all today. That's correct and once it's done and the blade is in its uppermost position it'll be a hundred foot tall authentic functioning Dutch grain grinding windmill. And, and it, this actually is authentic like from the 1800s right? That's correct. Um, it's built exactly like a historic windmill that you would be able to visit in the Netherlands only new of course. And a well, part of it was built in the Netherlands, right? Yes, um, everything that we're going to be hoisting today was built in the Netherlands and shipped over in 5C containers and then reassembled by our team of Dutch windmill builders. Well, you've got a beautiful day for this whole windmill to go up. What does this mean for the community here? I mean, you have everybody coming out and watching? Well, it's, you know, a dream for um, our board, of course, and the people who are closely associated with the project, but really, whether you're Dutch or not, it's a monument to the um, the community and I think it really means new opportunities and new possibilities both culturally and economically not just for Little Shoot but for the whole um, Fox Valley region. And uh, this is just part uh, part two of this is actually going to be a full visitor center correct? That's correct as soon as we get the windmill pieces um, hoisted and out of the way we're going to be constructing a visitor center which will be a heritage museum on the Dutch history of the region and that should be completed towards the end of this year. That's awesome. And you also said, hey, this has been an expensive project, but you still need funds for it, right? We do. We've raised about $2.2 .2 million, which in a small community is pretty phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and over 90% of that money has actually come directly from Little Shoot individuals and businesses. Um, but we need to raise about 600000 more, um, at least, to complete the project. So we're still, um, you know, hoping to get that done and feel pretty confident, but we need help. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we said it here on TV. They still need help. We have just a, a few Dutch people in this community, right? <laughs> yes, that's true. And there are actually many people who um, not only have Dutch heritage, but immigrated from the Netherlands in the 50s and 60s. And I think today is a really special day for them. All right. Well, uh, this whole uh, section is going to be going up at around 730. We should have a live shot of it coming up in a few minutes. Pete, Fantastic. Wow. Thanks a lot, Doug.